esophageal cancer, the primary treatment, as I told you, is surgery. And the surgery is uh, open or laparoscopy. Open, as you told, we have to make it a very big incision, the side of the chest, and look inside. We have to retract the lung, and we have to work behind the heart and take it out the growth in the esophagus and the part of involved. That uh, it is a very big major surgery is generally. And at the same time, we have to another up stage, we have to open the abdomen and we make the stomach into a tube and make it to possible conostomosis with the neck so that when it eats, it goes into the stomach. So this is a broad principles. But here, open operation, patient has to suffer with the pain and lung problem will be there post operatively and they may get infection and pneumonia like lot of problems where the success rate was not that high in those days so it was considered a dangerous operation but today and uh, minimal invasive surgery and uh, high tech help us to make it a same surgery possible through keyholes we have to make you know, we make a three or four holes in the side of the chest and we put a gas inside this chest so that the lung partially collapse and uh, automatically gives way to the see the esophagus so we can operate in the esophagus, take it out. Here, the technology is so helpful, we can identify tissues sharper and clear, take it out the growth. And at the same time, we also make it a small few holes in the abdomen and make the gastric tube and anastomosis the neck. Same what we are doing open and we can do minimal invasive. And this can be done in two types of operation. One is laparoscopic, another is a robotic. Laparoscopic operation is again the same through um, chest keyholes, we pass slim instruments and you work like exactly looking at the monitors and the screen. And uh, the other way it is called videoscopic surgery. Videoscopic it means you all know that uh, videoscopic it can be magnified 10 to 25 times keeping camera closer to the part where we operate or little away. Even the um, computer system is giving an enhanced clarity of tissues so sharper identification of the cancer tissues and the extent of the tumor, we can take it out. That's why man, oh, imaging, imaging system and particularly 3D, HD or 4K, it is an amazing quality of imaging, you get it to perform the surgery. So that is advantage. It is also there, this type of uh, computers and robotic surgery, we can give an enhancement of our own perfection. So dexterity improves, clarity of tissues enhanced and surgeon's performance also you can manifold. So we can operate much better way than open. This is what today we have seen. And um, this type of uh, operation is uh, more beneficial to the patient, not only short term like a less pain or short stay, getting back to routine work early. And also no need for a transfusion because it is done totally bloodless manner. And uh, future also, because not opening the abdomen, immune system is so good, the recurrence will be less, the long term survival is also superior far better than the open operation. So today, and, uh, and this is where we are very happy about that uh, we can perform. Now we are going to demonstrate operation, how it is going to be done minimally invasive. And uh, just overnight starvation, Pre till previous day he was eating, and overnight starvation, now bowel prepared. So now walking, now we are making a line and uh, induced. And this operation is done in a prone position, so that that lung will come down after putting a gas into the chest and uh, this will be done. Now we are going to demonstrate the procedure, how we will do it. Okay, and this is where, and you can see, these are the four places which mark the places, we make a trocar, and the trocars are nothing but a five millimeter, and uh, you know, seven of them are, uh, camera is a 10 mm port, through which we can pass the instrument. Now you are able to see, appreciate, and a wider exposure, even open, you can't see that uh, esophagus well. Now we are able to see the esophagus very nicely because the lung partially collapse go to the anteriorly. Now you can see the heart pulsation. This is extent of the growth. This is a, from the next side and this is a down distally. It is a diaphragmatic side entering the abdomen. Now you can see here. Now we start performing this using surgery and the whole esophagus with the tumor, we are able to mobilize. And uh, now, once completely mobilized, then we go to the next phase in the abdomen. And uh, now we'll turn the patient to abdomen. Again, we make a few holes. Now you can appreciate the uh, pneumoperitoneum and the stomach. Now you can appreciate the liver left lobe is retracted. 
now you can see entire this stomach is worked by harmonic scalpel and make a now we use a staplers staple is to divide the stomach such a way pouch becomes a tube like longer and so we'll cut one stapler another stapler this becomes a completely formed then the esophagus growth has to be removed that will take it through the neck outside and the gastric tube also pull to the neck now we can appreciate in the neck how we join together and we do a stapling anastomosis and it's like a machine to hand switcher and like cloth hand and machine similarly here also hand can be used and but staple is the best way and that patient once done from next day patient can take orally and this so now entire procedure we are able to complete it and uh, no sutures and this a uh, hole so it heal well and uh, from next day patient starts clear fluids and by 2 3 days they go for a liquid diet this is where it is minimally invasive helpful for the particular patient